So to begin off our construction, uh, we need to start by drawing the principal axis. Now, drawing the principal axis should be in such a place where you leave some room for the image which will form on the lower side of the principal axis since it is we are expecting an inverted image after drawing the principal axis we position the lens the convex lens and you use the symbol for the convex lens and then the principal focus will be 15 small squares from the lens on either side. The center of curvature will be 30, uh, which is 30 centimeters, will be 30 small squares from the lens on either side as well. And then now we position the object O at 40 small squares from the lens towards the left side of the lens. And then we now need to draw the rays. And the first ray we are going to draw is a ray parallel to the principal axis. This ray, as it passes through the lens, it is refracted to pass through the principal focus F on the other side of the lens. Arrows must be indicated on the lights so that it qualifies the lights to become rays. Another ray is ray, a ray that passes through the optical center of the lens. This ray passes undeviated. And where the two rays intersect, that is where the tip of the image is. Now, this is followed by joining the tip of the image to the principal axis perpendicularly using a continuous line. And then you indicate the arrowhead. So, that completes our expected ray diagram and arrows must be indicated as shown.